Good morning friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. In this video, we will see how to customize the pages in the web client version. So I have already opened up a sales order list. In this sales order list, we will see how to add or remove any new field in the header page and the line page. So let me open up this order. Now we all know that now we all know that this is our header page and this is our line page where we input the item information. So let's say I have to add one field in the general tab, which is currently not showing. So let's say I need to add a posting description field, which is as we as we can see it's not available here. So what I can do is I can click on this icon and click on personalize and now we can have this uh, we can see this field uh, called add data fields to the page so when I click here I will get to see the field which is currently not added in the page right now it is showing only one field here because I'm working on the header part okay so as I said, I need to add the posting description in the general tab. So what I can do is I can select that field and drag it to my general tab and place it here and see our field is now editable and available in the general tab. Now this is uh, how this is I, I show you how we can add a field in the header part. Now if I need to add a field in a line page so first of all I have to click on that line page and then I have to click on field and because I have already uh, but I had already click on the field tab so this page is already available so as soon as I click on the line page the, all the fields related to the line table are available here now so let me add a purchasing code field in the page so what I can do is I can click on the search button and start typing as purchase. So see it is suggesting me the field which I'm looking for is this. So what I can do here is I can drag it, drag this field again and paste it in the line page and see the field is now available here. The rest is that to save these changes we have to click on the done button and just click on the done button and that's it uh, our fields and the header page and the line page are now fully available let me close this page again and open it again and you will find all the fields like posting description and a purchasing code is still available here so this is how we can add or remove any new field in the web page or on the web client version of new dynamics 365 business central wave 2 so this is a very short update so thank you uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and please share this video also and if possible kindly uh, subscribe to my channel also thank you so much